and even in my own department it's changed completely we've learned a lot of new techniques and we use a lot of newer equipment now than we had when I started so it's a lot less hand blocking and hand tools and more small orbitals and better equipment that we're allowed to use now which makes the process easier and the final product is way better than anything we could have done even 10 years ago so we've definitely stepped it up as far as the quality that we can put out of this facility After plec, guitars then enter color prep. Color prep is where guitars receive their final sanding and wood filling prior to finishing. It's a single piece flow, so every operator has a specific area of the guitar that they're sanding. That allows them to really focus and key in on, say, the contoured top of a Les Paul, or a neck shape, or a neck heel. That way, they're all specialists in that area of the guitar, so it's very efficient and guaranteed to be a lot more accurate and in tune with what should be the final result. Lastly, guitars then get wood filled. The wood filler is a paste wood filler that is a consistency of pudding. The purpose of the wood filler, in addition to highlighting the grain, more importantly, is to fill the open poured grain of woods like mahogany or swamp ash. Open poured woods need that grain to be filled so when they get lacquered, that lacquer just doesn't doesn't sink into the holes. So now we have a smoother finish after the whole finish process. The final sanding is very important because through the manufacturing process, at every step you're taking wood chips off, you're carving into the guitar, or you're sanding with heavier sanding belts or spindle sanders. So the very final sanding is to remove any fine scratches left from any of the previous sanding or machining operations. In the case of an opaque finish, you'll still see little sanding scratches as that lacquer settles if you don't get them out removed. In the case of a transparent finish, if you have any fine scratches left into that wood, when you stain or shade a guitar, it's gonna be highlighted and exaggerated. So the final sanding is hugely important into the final aesthetic of the guitar. So the grain filler, also known as wood filler, are tinted. So on transparent colors or shaded colors, we'll use a complementary colored wood filler, such as a cherry or walnut brown or red mahogany or a, a white wood color to accentuate the wood grain. So it adds kind of a staining operation at the same time. On opaque finishes, it doesn't matter what color wood filler we use, but you still have to use a wood filler to fill and pack the pores of the open grain woods. On woods like maple, that's a closed grain wood, so you don't put wood filler on that. There's no need for that. We apply the wood filler with a brush with the grain direction, and that packs it into the pores. We let it haze for three or four minutes, and that kind of cures to a certain extent, and then we wipe it off cross grain so that packs that wood filler into the pores instead of pulling it back up out of the pores. So we will get direction from the engineering department on the models coming through, whether it be a new color or a new model altogether, and what they're looking for as far as the color, like if there's a theme to it. So Color Prep will work with the finishing department to figure out if we are going to use specific filler water-based or an alcohol-based stain, and then what colors we need to use to get the right effect in the finishing department. Then it goes to the final inspector, they approve the guitar, and it goes up into the carousel, which ramps up into the ceiling up above color prep in cycles for eight hours before then we can pull it down and take it into finishing. Heat rises so that accelerates that drying process and they have to dry a minimum of eight hours to allow the solvents to evaporate before they can go into finishing. From the first day I started working here, it has been a sense of pride and real exciting to walk into the place. It's a 
brand everybody knows. So just to have the chance to get a shot at it and then feel like I'm succeeding at it. So yeah, over the years, it doesn't really wear off. It makes you want to come back and do more and do better and get to work on anything that you could possibly work on. So the chance to work on new models, new colors, and then just working with the people that you grow up with, in a sense, as you're learning the job, you watch your seniors work and just make these beautiful pieces of art, really, just out of blocks of wood. And these are the things that people all over the world want. You watch them take pride in it. You want to do it, you mimic that. And it just, it moves from you to the next person that you train and then that they'll train. So that'll just go on through each generation of employee that comes through the place. Thank you.